What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And let's talk about this download I had. Someone thinks that there is a mole around them in their group, in their circle, because you know too much. Okay, you just you you be knowing. But you you know too much. It ain't no way you know all the shit you know. Somebody got to be telling you something. I'm telling you, somebody got to be telling you things. Because it just ain't no way you know all of that now. Off the strength of your intuitive abilities. This is what this person thinks and feels. So, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this energy? Who feels like someone in the collective has a spy. An SP Nosh, okay, <laughs> in in a um pocket. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know, please and thank you about this? Cause baby, you be knowing too much, honey. They like hell no. Who is the spy? Who is the mole? Holy Spirit, is there a mole, or is this person in the collective just really tapped into you? Working through you, Most High God. What do we need to know, please and thank you? Let's see. Eight of Cups. Hmm. First card out, Eight of Cups. Wherever you are, you are at a distance from this group, okay? Maybe at some point you had a connection to these people, this group, this energy, that thinks there's a mole in their camp, that's these cups here. You have some sort of love for this group, some sort of connection to them, but you moved on. And you had your back turned to them, so there's no way you could know what they got going on, right? But you see that moon up there? That's your God. If you look outside tonight, well, at least where I'm at, the moon is really high and the sky is full. But the, but the moon is your guide. And I feel like you talk to the moon and the moon talk back to you, okay? You're very intuitive. You can have Pisces or Cancer somewhere prominently in your chart, okay? So you took deliberate action to move away from these people, this person in particular, and you had a new plan for your life, okay? You had something different in mind with how you wanted your life to go, and it did not include these individuals. There could also be a Pisces or a Cancer within this group who feel like you spying on them somehow because you sacrificed them, okay? Whoever they are, you sacrificed them. You moved on with your life. You had a new perspective about what it is that you wanted, and they were not included in that. And all of this is pertinent because this proves that you ain't fucking worried about these people. You ain't trying to keep up with these people and what they got going on. You chose yourself. Okay? Queen of Cups. And when you choose yourself, you're going to have a damn victory every time. Because you're focused on what is the best thing for you. What you need to do to make your shit shake. You ain't worried about what nobody else got going on, okay? So this this belief that you got a mole that's giving you intel and a 411 on these folks that you left behind, that's asinine. Because you sitting in the lover's queen of cups with the six of wands. That uh, The lover's is about choosing choices, being chosen, the ultimate choice, the only choice. You done chose yourself when at one point you probably were choosing to show a lot of love, give a lot of effort towards these cup energies that you left behind. Okay? So you moved on. I'm telling you, and you have injustice. You are winning with this world card. Okay, you might actually be getting some sort of public recognition online for who you are and what you do. So, for example, if you are intuitive, because you did come out here as the Queen of Cups as well, 
if you're intuitive and you be talking about shit, you be talking about these people's business, but you don't know that it's these people's business, okay? Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm hearing. Clarify, Page of Cups. You creatively express yourself, and I feel a very loving, progressive way with this Page of Cups. You share some sort of knowledge. There go that fish. You are a Pisces, okay? You make some sort of creative offers publicly. Whatever you do, however you do that. It's very spiritual. It's very ethereal, very mystic. But it's something you be talking about. It's something that you express and do that is triggering some folks that you used to be cool with, that you used to kick it with. You've been out here unconsciously revealing their life. Page of Wands in reverse. I'm trying to fucking tell you now what I'm picking up on. And they don't like what you're saying because they feel like you're telling, you're purposely tapping into what they have going on and you're disclosing that. They do. They feel like you're tapping in to try to get a light shine down on what they got going on in their life. And then you going and you talking about it. But what's happening is these people watching you. Okay. And if you truly are tapped in, you're going to pick up on them unconsciously. A light is going to be spiritually shined down on whatever the universe wants to highlight from their lives because they're tapping in. Okay. That's why we're able to pick up as clairvoyants, as psychics and mediums. We're able to pick up on people's situations and give them clarity, even if we don't know them from a hole in the wall. Even if we can't point them out of the crowd. Even if we don't know who the message belongs to, we know it belongs to somebody because they're tapping in. They're watching. They're, they're unconsciously and consciously asking for guidance. And they receive it. Okay, so that's what you do. But the guidance that you're getting, these people don't want to hear what you got to say. How you? How are you telling them what to do and how are you telling them about their business? Because you are somebody I feel that gives inspiration along with your Page of Wands communication. Page of Wands is about inspiration and encouragement. Two of Pentacles, you give people options you give them choices on how they can adapt to their circumstances and that's why people listen to you because you are getting getting recognition and you are having success for your page of wands efforts whether these people want to believe that you upright or not okay it's just really giving a hit dog will holler now it your mole is the most high god okay and it's a king of cups. I'm telling you, a water sign in particular who feel like you just telling all their damn business, nine of swords, ten of swords, nine of wands, putting them in a pickle. Because people who know what this king of cups is going through, they know that you right on the money. But there's also people who know that it ain't no way you know this King of Cups business to be straight up telling it on any public platform. So you must really be that bitch. You must really be tapped in. You must really be a divine feminine, a chosen one. Because how you be knowing all of that shit? He don't want to give you your credit. And he got people thinking that you spying on him somehow. But it's some people who know now that you really are tapped in. That you really are intuitive. That the universe talked to you. And you talked back to them. Empress. Okay. So the universe is using you as a catalyst to help some people you know get their mind right. And instead of them listening to what you're saying. About their specific situations that you can know nothing about. 
that there's nobody, ain't no damn mole. It ain't nobody that you even fuck with from your past. That's why this Eight of Cups came out here first. You took deliberate action to stay away from all these motherfuckers. So how the hell would you know what this King of Cups got going on? You don't talk to nobody from your past, but you do talk to the Most High God. And the Most High God is using you. I'm telling you as a catalyst, this could be a karmic soulmate of some kind because you and him are coming out diagonally diagonally to each other with this queen and king cups okay so this could be like a fallen twin flame or something clarify holy spirit who you picking up on spiritually and he triggered now four cups you're disconnected from what he's experiencing in his life, but the universe is still giving you spiritual downloads about it, even though you don't know that that is him specifically that you're referencing, okay? Whoever you are. So people are aware of that because see, he didn't confront people about being a mole, clarify. He been out here asking people, seven of wands, challenging people about if they are communicating with you and telling you what he got going on a king of wands leo in particular he think that this energy is secretly he could be like a cancer leo cuss he think this person is secretly partnering with you and telling you what this king of cups got going on but he but he's not he's not but he, this um, King of Cups, thank he is. Moon falling right up under the King of Cups. He's already confronted this King of Wands about you. And is he, is he communicating with you? And this King of Wands and already told him he not. Look, but he think he is. Chariot. He thinks there's a King of Wands who is coming towards you and telling you all the deets about this King of Cups life. That's how you're able to know what's going on with him to verbally and publicly express it. And again, you don't know who you're talking about when you talk. That's what I'm seeing here. You're making these offers, but you don't know who is or who has their hand open to receive them. Okay. Six of swords, because you once again, it's multiple references of you going in the opposite direction out here. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Six of Swords. You are not keeping up with this King of Cups or nobody else that he is affiliated with. Whoever these eight, those Eight Cups are, it's a number of people who feel like you be talking about them, I'm telling you. And you do be talking about them. That's what I'm hearing. But you don't know that you're talking about them. The only way you'll know if who you talking about, divine feminine, chosen one, is if them people come and tell you directly, you're talking about me. That's my life. That's my situation. That's my story. That's the only way you'll know. You're not out here purposely trying to pull from anyone. You're not out here spying or trying to invest look hermit came out i'm telling you they think you out here spying and shit but you're not you just tapping into yourself you're understanding your own spiritual and intuitive abilities and all of this soul searching and self-reflection that you are doing is what is causing your spiritual abilities to get stronger you you continuously seek the light, okay? You could also have Virgo or Taurus in your chart, Libra as well, but that's that's your source, okay? That's your overflowing cup of intel and information. It comes from within, from the Most High God. Whatever the Holy Spirit puts on your mind, body, and spirit to talk about, to discuss to unearth, to investigate, that's what you're going to do. 
okay? And if it happens to be the life of somebody that you knew, they might want to stop watching you if they don't want to hear their business. That's all I can say. Because ain't nobody got time to be trying to pinpoint or worry about nobody damn feelings. That's when the message gets displaced. That's when the message gets muddled. And most of all, that's when the message will be missed. When you're trying to concede and please multiple individuals instead of trying to please the most high God. Whoever you are, that's what you do. You try to please the most high. You're not worried about what anybody thinks ultimately about your spiritual offers to the universe, to the public, because you know you're being divinely guided to say and do whatever you're saying and doing. So this King of Wands, Twin Flame, Fallen Twin Flame vibe, Emperor who's supposed to boss up for you. The universe is working through you to make this motherfucker do right, okay? He gonna be triggered to the point that he gonna finally start trying to follow some of your wisdom, guidance, and tutelage, okay? Because he be listening to you. See, that's that's the that's the main part of all of this here. If they ain't listening to you, you can't pick up on their ass. That's what people don't be understanding sometimes. And then they want to come for your jugular when you get to talking about their karmic ass behavior. But if they weren't trying to spy and watch you instead of make things right with you, they shit wouldn't be coming out on your platform. See, that's the part that he ain't quite got yet. Okay, and I feel like when he's been confronting these different people, including this King of Wands, they've told him, you searching for a mole, but the mole is the most high God. And he the one who telling your twin flame what she need to know about what you got going on and how you need to rectify it so you can boss up and be the divine masculine to her. See, this King of Wands been trying to school this motherfucker. Like you coming at me like I'm telling your business. No, nah, dog, you out, you out here living foul. You ain't doing what the fuck you supposed to be doing. That's why you in the nine of swords, ten of swords, and the nine of wands. That ain't nobody fault but your own. And if you want things to change, if you want to come up out this three of swords energy, you need to listen to some of that hot fire that your damn twin flame is spitting. Okay? Because you spitting that hot fire now while they playing, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, that's why his ass triggered. That's why his ass been hollering all over, wherever y'all from, wherever you used to reside at, asking everybody who talked to you, who telling, who telling you what he got going on, because he knows somebody telling it. It ain't no way you know all that shit. Who telling it? Man, you got to be... Telling her what I got going on. No. The universe telling her though. And the universe is using your twin flame. Because I don't know why I'm switching to talking to this man. But the universe is using your twin flame to help you get your mind right. To help you get your shit together. Everything that lady saying on her channel, your ass need to be damn listening to. That's what I'm damn hearing. Every damn thing. Every advice, inspiration, positive outlook she suggests or permeates from her platform, you need to pull on that shit and push it out in your life. Push it. That's four P's. Somebody name might start with a P. I don't know. But let's see. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because I'm telling you, he out here telling it. Every ooh, and the Holy Spirit say that's the truth now. Nah. That's the truth. Whoever this Empress Queen of Cups is, anything she talking about, it's the universe giving her clarity about what her twin flame need out here doing and what he need to stop doing, and what new habits and methods he need to pick up in his life. We had the King of Swords. He need to get right. He need to get up right. He needs to have a be better character and better integrity. 
He need to do better. That's what the universe is saying. He need to match her fly. So, so built better seeds for his future. Okay? Because whatever his twin flame is saying, it's the truth. Ain't a lie in it with this Ace of Swords. So, you know, God is trying to tell him something through his twin flame. Ain't no more energy encompassed in it. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because I'm about to go to the beach. Nine of Pentacles. This person is upright, upstanding. This person mind a business. Okay? This divine feminine chosen one, Empress energy here. And she is she is very intuitive. Queen of Swords is falling up under the moon. It's multiple references to her intuitive ability. Herman is falling up under the Empress. Okay? Three of Pentacles is falling up under the lovers. But the birds talk to her and she talked back to him. It's a lot of y'all like that. You know, you get your spiritual downloads straight from the heavens, straight from your ancestors, straight from the Holy Spirit, straight from the Most High God, straight from the universe. You don't get your downloads from no gossip that you accumulated from whoever or whatever. Okay. And some people do do that. They do do that, but that's not what you do. And for him to assume this is just showing how much he, he's in his ego and he need to come on up out of it. He need to have an ego death. Clarify. Look, I'm telling you because th these beliefs that he has about you spying on him and you using mole energies to figure out what he got going on so you can try to blast him publicly. That's some bullshit. He in the tower because of his own personal choices. And there is something like that here as well. He feels like you're making things worse for him by publicly expressing what he's going through. But again, you don't know this is what he's going through. And also, how everybody else know, but you don't know. Okay? It's something like, he he's sure you know, but why you got everybody in your business? How would everybody know that those things apply to you that your twin flame is saying? Clarify. Because this man shoot bad right now. Now I'm telling you. Death. But it's, it ain't got shit to do with you. I feel like everybody is aware of what he's going through because he need to wake the fuck up. Didn't I just say he need to have an ego death? That's what this man needs to have. So, you know, that's on him. Trying to call people moles and accusing people of communicating with you. I mean, if this King of Wands, I don't know who this King of Wands could be to you or how you would know him, but he's somebody from your past too. Somebody you possibly were cool with that you don't fuck with like that anymore. I'm not getting any connection between you and this King of Wands. That the four of cups and the seven of wands is between the two of y'all energies, okay? So I'm not really picking up where you are in cahoots with this king of wands at all. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Nine of cups. I'm telling you, this man is independent of you and any type of connection with you. This king of wands, Cancer Leo cusp is sitting in the nine of cups. There's no connection between you and him. And I feel like this man is satisfied with that. So this assumption by this King of Cups is also an ego issue. Because he swear you got some sort of partnership with a King of Wands, Nine of Cups. So even his insinuation of that, his adamance that you are involved with this other man from y'all community that's also indication five of wands because i'm telling you they didn't have a little 
I ain't going to say scuffle, but they had some words. He he swore this man with some sort of mole. And I'm telling you, this is somebody that he is cool with, that he party with, that he be around, that he kick it with. So this King of Wands know what this King of Cups, King of Swords is going through. But he don't really want to fuck with him like that no more because of the accusation. Because of this belief that this King of Cups had that he was some sort of spy. Okay? So he didn't possibly lost a, a good friend because this King of Wands is sitting in the Wheel of Fortune. He's sitting on top of the wheel. I tell y'all, when these cars get to lining up a certain way, that's not a coincidence. The Wheel of Fortune is falling right up under this King of Wands. He's sitting on top of the wheel. So this King of Cups has lost virtually seemingly a good friend who could have possibly helped him through his current trials. But that ego, I'm telling you, he need to have an ego death. Final messages, Holy Spirit, final messages. Strength, that's that ego. And this King of Wands got more strength out here in these streets right now than this King of Cups. So trying to battle with him, trying to step to him about you and what type of communication y'all might have going on was not the way that wasn't the move for this man. Because he swear this man was in the Seven of Swords and the devil with you now. And that y'all may have even had some sort of kiki and intimacy going on. See, that's what's really wrong with your twin flame. Okay? That's what's really bothering him, too. He think you involved with this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, but you're not. And I told you, this man's sitting on top of the wheel. But you're not. And he's, as a result, he's caused some sort of ending to that friendship. Four of Pentacles. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it's up to him at this point because I feel like the universe going to continue to spit that hot fire through you until this man decide to change his life and have an ego death. So he going to continue to to be embarrassed, be put on front street, blasted or whatever he think you think he doing until he get his mind, body and spirit right. Anything else? Final messages, child. Hierophant. Until he decide to accept some of that wisdom, guidance, and tutelage that you are pushing through unconsciously to him, it's going to keep going the way it's been going. He's going to keep getting the results that he's been getting, and you're going to continue to keep giving them messages too. He's going to keep getting them results that he's been getting, being restricted, and you're going to continue to be a good omen and take action, which is giving messages that help people rejuvenate themselves, renew themselves, and get themselves in alignment. That's what it's going to be. And he's going to be mad. But that's God, baby. That's, that's the most high who's going to continue to intervene time and time again until he see the truth in the light about you. And that you are his ideal, ideal counterpart. And that he needs to wake the fuck up and start actually putting in some work to make things better for himself and have this divine union with you. Because you are who su he's supposed to be giving to and receiving from. This is where y'all supposed to be at. But until he has an ego death, and free himself from these restrictions that he's created for his own life, you and him won't be able to reconnect. But you will keep putting that shit out there. You will continue to have that 411 about your man life, because he your man. Y'all out here is each other's match four times. Okay, king and queen of cups, king and queen of swords, excuse me, three times, emperor and empress. But his problem, I'm telling you, he got to get up out his ego because he swear 
you fucking with this damn king of wands king of pentacles because you are out here as that person's match twice too okay so what that also is telling me because i might got i got four cards left and this is the this is the most high god here what this is also telling me that if this king of cups don't get his shit together the universe might let you fuck around and find out what's really up with this king of wands king of pentacles okay because he do got capricorn in his chart he there he go right here this man is hurt that his friend thought that he was telling you things but now he in some energy like because he done went looking okay damn i'm out of cards but he done went looking and he wondering like well if he can't see what I see, which is just really a very special woman, then maybe I need to go over there and see what she got going on. Because he can't see enough to go get her. Maybe I need to go get her. Because you do have history with both of these men. But the history I feel you have with this King of Wands was platonic. Okay? And you are not in communication with this person. So it's really given that if your twin flame want to continue being in this sunken place, God may reroute this king. That might be why he picking up that shit too now. Because I'm getting that as well. The universe may reroute this king of wands, king of pentacles to come towards you. Okay. So you know why he doing all of that. He might want to think, rethink about things. Because he's setting himself up for failure with this one. I'm telling you. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.